want to start with you, Sana. Mm -hmm. If you look at the end of the third quarter, your running point. Oh, yeah. This is a thing that the team has not had to do before. So when you look at the way that you just won a game today, considering everything that happened, how impressive was it from your side? Uh, I think it's really good of us. I mean, we found a way to win, and that's what you got to do every game. Uh, and we faced some challenges that we haven't faced before. Uh, but honestly, I thought it was fun to run the point. <laughs> <laughs> How often so. do you run the point in practice? Oh, very rarely. <laughs> <laughs> like once every four or five weeks, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I get so stressed, so it's very impressive, yeah. No, she she's really good at it. Well, when you do consider the fact that you're up to 17 shooting in the second quarter as a team, uh, Mara and Hannah probably know that and Hannah's probably just out. Um, you had to survive a lot in this game. Mm -hmm. so, so from that standpoint, is this one of your more impressive victories because of the things you had to adjust to and overcome? By far, I think this was a game that really tested our strength, really tested kind of the belief and the resiliency we had in our t each other and our team, and we came out on top. Um, yeah, when Hannah went down and then Marty went down shortly thereafter, it's it takes all the rest of us to lift up and, and kind of come back together and, and get a win. So I think this is probably my favorite win, maybe the ugliest win, but it's my favorite win of the season just because of there was a lot of, a lot of different things that happened that usually don't happen in a basketball game, and, and we still got it done, and, and we did it together. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's so cool. I think they inspire all of us, um, and just to see them come back and, and hear them talk about their fun times and their stories here, it kind of, I think, just resonates with us because we have a lot of fun together. We have a lot of great memories as a team, so just kind of hear their experience and then be able to kind of use it and, and think about our experience as our own team is it's kind of fun. Four points in that second quarter. Um, what was the kind of locker room halftime environment like? It was good. I mean, it was positive. I think we were really happy with our defensive efforts. I mean, I think they had 18 points at half, something like yeah. that. And so we were really happy about that. And then I think we just kept saying, hey, we're getting shots. Just knock, be confident, step up, knock them down, and, and we'll be good. So uh, the locker room was just kind of trying to be very encouraging. We're, we're doing great on the defensive end now. We're going to get our offense flowing. It's just a matter of time. So when you do look at the way you guys play defense and that's back into this game, now you're pulling for the first or quarter, that's an area you guys are really focusing on. And New Mexico is different than I think we did a really good, good job. Obviously, I didn't play them last year because I'm new, but um, I think compared to some other games, like we knew what we were doing, but also, as we said before, like things changed. Like, yes, we were following the plan, but the plan also had to change like throughout the game. And I think we adjusted really well to that and uh, just, yeah, had to got to do what we had to do. Like in your assessment, how many Everybody's. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, I think literally, everyone's. yeah. Um, but uh, I thought our mindset was just great today. Like, mm -hmm. I felt like our dips, like, might have looked worse than we felt like mm -hmm. what it was. Like, I never felt like we, we played bad. Like, we played good all the time. Like, the shots are going to go, like, we're going to miss shots sometimes. Obviously, we did that in the second quarter, but on, our energy was still there, and we were having fun, and I think that was what made us win. Each and every time as a point guard, you're supposed to help get your players open. There was a point in the fourth quarter where you looked at Kay Kayla and you told her to take that shot. Mm -hmm. How much of that is your job, too, is when a player is maybe not confident with their shot uh -huh. to force them to do it? Yeah, I have the utmost confidence in, in her and everyone on the team. Um, so when they get an opportunity, I'm going to be their biggest supporter in taking the shot that I know that they can knock down. And um, sometimes, you know, it's – she explained it to me what she was kind of thinking after it, and I was like, okay, I get that, I do. But at the same time, you're a good shooter. That's an open shot. You can knock that down, take the next one. And then a few possessions later, I kicked it out, and, yeah, she made the next one. And so just as a point guard and as a leader, you're trying to encourage your, your teammates to be the best possible versions of themselves and when they have an opportunity to take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.